This app just fixed the MacBook's notch for me and it did it in the same way that the Dynamic Island fixed it on the iPhone. It made the notch useful. Instead of it just being an eyesore that blocks part of the menu bar, with this app, the notch becomes a contextual widget that shows things exactly like the Dynamic Island does on the iPhone. Like, check this out. You open up your Mac and the notch shows that it's locked, just like on iPhones. You start playing music and then you get this little music player in the notch. And if you swipe on it, you can skip backward or forward or swipe down and you can get more details on the song. You can favorite it. And if you click on the song, it'll take you to your music player. And yes, it works the exact same if you use Spotify or Apple Music. If you connect up some headphones, they'll pop up in the notch. If you turn on Do Not Disturb, that'll show too. And you can even adjust a setting to have it stay constantly in the notch whenever Do Not Disturb is on. I ended up turning that on and it helps me be way more aware of when I have Do Not Disturb on. And before I had this app, I pretty regularly would turn on Do Not Disturb and then I'd miss calls and texts because I forgot it was on, but not anymore. It's just always in the notch. If you adjust your brightness, instead of getting the normal little pop-up box that we're all used to, it shows a slider up in the notch. The app is called Alcove, and my favorite part about it is that unlike a lot of third-party apps I find, it is super polished and feels like a first-party Apple software solution. Like, I bet if you just showed someone a Mac with Alcove on it, they would think that Apple made it. It is that good. I've tried a lot of these dynamic notch island-style apps, and while a lot of them have better and more functionality than Alcove, none of them are even close to as polished and bug-free, and at least for me, when it comes to my Mac, which is my main work machine, I really value software that does what it says it does and doesn't have a bunch of bugs. And now would be a good time to tell you that this isn't sponsored. I have no connection with Alcove. I just found it randomly on a Reddit thread and I tried it out and I really liked it. So I wanted to share it with you. And now would be another good time to tell you that even though I think this app is fantastic, you probably shouldn't buy it because it's incredibly expensive for what it does. It's $17, which for an app like this, at least in my opinion, is way overpriced. But value is subjective, so let's talk about what it actually does because while it's not a lot, the things that it does, it does flawlessly. Even the little things, like when we hover our mouse over the notch, it playfully bounces and gives just a tap of haptic feedback, which feels so polished and Apple-like. It's just like if you tap and hold on the dynamic island on your iPhone, it gives a quick little haptic tap. And if we swipe down with two fingers, we can see the now playing info with song title, art, and what speaker it's playing from. Let's take a look at the now playing feature. You can have it display waveforms just like it does on iPhone, which I turned off because I find the movement distracting. But then whenever you're playing music, you have an easy way to play pause, favorite, and skip to the next song built right into the notch. I'm pretty much always listening to something while I'm on my laptop. So to have a dedicated music widget built into the notch is awesome. And another part that I really like is that normally when you adjust your brightness or volume or whatever, you get a pop-up box in the middle of the screen. Whereas with Alcove, when you adjust those things, they stay up in the notch, which I think it's just because the notch is up and out of your way, it makes it feel like it's not in your workspace and makes the pop-ups feel less distracting. Oh, and performance was a concern of mine. A lot of these third-party notch apps can drain your battery while just running in the background. And I'm happy to say that isn't the case with this one. The performance is awesome and I haven't noticed taking up any resources at all. And when I check the hardware monitor, the CPU CPU usage is always between zero and 1%, so it's not gonna impact your battery life or your performance in any way, which isn't something that I can say about a lot of the other Notch apps that I've tried. Alcove is an app that I just set to turn on with my laptop, and then I completely forget it's running because it just blends right into the Notch and it feels native. So that's Alcove. Like I said, it doesn't do much, but what it does, it does really, really well. Not having glitches is a huge issue for me on my work machines because I'm trying to get stuff done, not troubleshoot. So I'm willing to pay extra for software if it means I'm going to have a seamless experience versus free software that has a bunch of bugs. I know that's a personal preference, but I wanted to state it because you might have different preferences. I still think that $17 for this app is way overpriced, but I wanted to show you it because I think this app is really cool and fun and it made my four year old MacBook Pro feel new and exciting again. And that's worth something to me. If you wanna check it out, I'll leave it linked below. And if you made it this far, drop a like and a sub. It's free for you and it really helps me out. All right. See ya.